This is going to be an introduction to sewing with the sewing machine. First off, you get to know your machine. This is my machine, the Pace Sitter by Brother. These are the plugs. This is the plug where it goes into the wall. This is the plug where it goes down on the floor and I have my foot pedal down there. And then my on switch. So I hit on and woohoo, the light goes on. My machine's ready to go. So these are all my different stitch settings. To be honest, guys, I only use the straight stitch and the zigzag stitch. That's all I need. Like, I don't even know what all this fanciness is for. Obviously, they will have a use, but I haven't figured it out yet. This window tells me what stitch I'm on. I'm on the second, which is the straight stitch. Down here is the speed of the machine. So like this is the stitch is gonna go really slow. The needle's gonna go like And then medium is like do, 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 do. And then three, it's like and I feel like my, my machine's gonna break. So it's usually always right there in the middle. This is my reverse stitch. So when I hit this down, the stitch goes backwards. You can see there's a little reverse error right here. This is my lever to press my foot down. See, so it goes down and up and down, up and down. The dials at the top, you see me refer to them very often in my videos. This, it gives you kind of a guide right here. This is how far apart your stitching is going to be, um, the length. Over here is going to be the width, so if you use the zigzag stitch, it tells you how wide your zigzag is going to be. Okay, sewing machine needles. They come in packs like this, you can get big ones, you can get variety packs, um, doesn't matter. Sewing machine feet. Okay, this is a standard foot. Very simple, I mean, it just, you sew everything with it. Then this is a zipper foot. Thread, very, very important. Usually if you have a crappy costume that keeps ripping or the seams break, it's because you got bad thread. Buy that and only that. Ha ha, dual duty, bad. So what dual duty thread is is actually usually a polyester thread covered in a cotton. So it's the polyester core then cotton wrapped around it. So when your needle and your thread goes into the fabric, when it shoves through the fabric, the cotton cover just kind of comes right off. It's horrible, you got cotton fuzz everywhere that actually really gunks up your machine and your thread is now less strong. Bad, don't do dual duty, that was a tongue twister. Nine times out of 10 when you're having trouble sewing with something, it's either you're using the wrong size needle for your fabric and you have a crappy thread. Scissors! Okay, these are my good sewing scissors. They are Ginger. Sewing scissors are only used for fabric. If you use these on paper or cardboard to cut pictures up, I don't even know. You're gonna ruin them. Save these only for fabric. Then I have this smaller pair also by Ginger, and they're mostly for cutting thread. Pins! For sewing, you want these longer with pearlized tips. The really small ones that don't have pearlized tips on them. These are mainly used for drafting pattern. Chalk, chalk pencils are also a really nice thing to have, but they actually have marking pins. Um, usually there's a dual tip on it, so one side, it actually dissolves in the air, like after 24 or 36 hours, the mark just disappears. And then on the other side, they have a water disappearing ink. What if it doesn't wash off and you have this mark on your fabric that you can't get rid of? I don't know, I don't like using the pens, I prefer the chalk. And another thing about the air dissolving ones is actually if you iron it, you will set it with the heat and it becomes permanent. You can't get it out. And finally, you gotta have some bobbins to sew in a sewing machine. Okay, and now that we've gone over all of our supplies, let's head over and take a look at the sewing machine. You're gonna need to thread a bobbin. Put the empty one right there. Woo. And I take my thread. It doesn't matter what way you put your thread on. If See when I pull it twist this way? Or when you put it on, you pull it twist that way. Doesn't matter, just put the thread in. We're gonna follow our instructions. So one is to go underneath that little loop. Two, I have my little picture, my diagram right here. It shows the thread going under this little loop right here, under, then around that round thing, and then over it right here, over. My next picture says number three. So go on the back side like this, wrap it around a few times, and then it says to put the thread in that little notch. The little notch is gonna be right here. So go like this, go in. And there's actually a little razor blade in there, so if you just kinda gently tug on your thread, it cuts it and pulls it right off. I just push this over here. So when I push the foot pedal on the ground, so my bobbin starts spinning and it's putting the matching thread onto the bobbin. 
When you have enough, just go ahead and cut, and you have a threaded bobbin. Go back to number one. So it's the same direction, only we're gonna be going straight this way. My number two, if you can see it, is right here, these directions. So it's telling me to go underneath this loopy thing, go back down here. Three is right down here, go around this loop. Four is back up at the top, go around this thing you loop up here, around. And if you can see, there's a little six on that metal plate right there. So this thread goes underneath that bar. Go ahead and put the thread through the needle. And if you can tell, there's actually little pictures down here showing you exactly how to thread the bobbin. The thread needs to come this way, set it down in place, and it loops around this little edge right here. I have a picture down here, I don't know if you can really see it, but it says to loop it that way. So around this edge, there's arrows that I follow going up here, another long arrow, and go all the way over here. Now, there is a little sharp razor blade right there. It actually cuts the thread. I don't like to do that. I don't know why. I feel like it's too short. So I go ahead and place the cover back over it. It just kind of locks into place. To release my cover, I just push this little lever and it pops right out. So to pick up the bobbin thread, I hold this one with one hand, twist the knob. It makes the needle go all the way down and do a full circle until it comes all the way back up. Okay, and see my thread is kind of down below. So I bring this up and it pulls the other one up with it. So now I've got two threads, my bobbin thread and my top thread. Okay, I think that's it. We wrapped it all up. Intro your machine, your supplies. We'll get sewing in the next one. Bird, this is not going to work. Oh look, Christmas leftovers. Oh my God, my house is a mess. Why are you so angry? This is why my videos take too long. It's just a pain in the butt. It's impossible! It's impossible to film with you chirping like that! Shush! Oh, I lost my thread. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I lost it. Oh no, this is a bad tutorial. Okay, here we go. So it's still in this loop. Bird, what are you doing? I am in the middle of filming right now.